Hi, I'm delighted to be here with Shereen Smith, author of Legally Branded, lawyer, intellectual property lawyer, and we'll have to talk a little bit about that in a while. Lovely to meet you. And I must say that I, we've met a couple of times around here we're in the British Library at the moment, and I know you've long had a link with the British Library, but at your book launch for this, and you were talking about the law, you were talking about helping small businesses to protect their, their brands and to protect their rights and so on, and to understand that. And you're speaking really, really, really passionately about, about the law. First of all, before we get, I guess, into the intellectual property and so on, sure. tell me in a nutshell about your story and what got you, first of all, excited about law, which lots of people think is a dry topic or a very terribly male topic, or what, have you, what, what made you enthused and tell us a yeah. bit of your story? Well, what really got me enthused with intellectual property law was when I set up my own practice, because I'd been practicing at places like Evershed's, Cooper's and Lybrand, um, Reuters as an in-house lawyer right. and I really wanted to make more of a difference so it was only when my father died suddenly and he had always said to me why don't you set up your own business because that might actually make you feel that you're making more of a difference right. and, and he so, was so right. Right and so had that thing about law had that always been in your genes, had you always kind of had the passion for lawyer? Because it's one of those professions that people think, oh, you should be a lawyer, you should be a solicitor, but it sounds like the thing that you, you were drawn to law naturally, were you? Well, quite honestly, I would have wanted to be a doctor, right, but okay. I didn't have the right background when right, it yeah. came to it, and I, I wanted to do something, a professional mm. um, job, you know, so that's why I chose law. It was, you know, the sort of background I came from, it was considered desirable to be a professional, and so I looked at my options. Got you, and so yeah. then you were there working for big, big name, That's just right. like Hoops and White Brown, so in-house lawyer, right. helping them with all the legal yes. stuff that emerges, and then this thing about really making a difference, so tell yes. us then, when did you decide then to run your own business, which can be quite scary, mm -hmm. you know, as lots of people who are yes. watching this yes. know only too well. Well, I would I had a break because I had my two daughters mm. and so I was considering my options in terms of returning to law, setting up a business and that's when I decided, I did actually go back to work and when my father died it, it suddenly hit me that you know I have to do something mm. about it now, mm. you know I need to make a change so that I feel more that I'm giving something. And that will resonate with, I guess, many of the people who it is that you work with run their own business or who are watching this, many of whom get to a particular point early in their career or later on, they Sorry. think they want to do something that really resonates mm -hmm. with them and makes a difference. Mm -hmm. But you're the, this field of specialism that you do, intellectual property, and even the word intellectual yes. property, it's isn't it? Oh my goodness, our heads go yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Maybe that's a good point then to, to mm -hmm. begin to introduce this. And one of the things I really enjoyed when I came along to a book launch is how you kind of simplify this. Can you tell us just in a nutshell what, what, what we talk about when we talk, we talk about intellectual property? So it's our ideas, it's about that, it's not, the, right. the, it's not the physical yeah. property, it's ideas property, That's is right. That right? Very much about how you bring to life your ideas. So generally you would need to choose a name, you would need to, it depends on what the idea is. You might be able to have a patent if you have an invention, you need a website, a logo, all these are intangibles which are intellectual property right. of right. the business. Right, so my third, one of my backgrounds was in media, would be writing, so the, the, the thing I do understand is that with copyright, which is the one that most people might be most familiar with, maybe it's worth touching on that, isn't it? Yes. That's pertaining to most things that are, are, are written or recorded or sound, like singing and so on, so when that's people see the copyright on the album yes. or what have you, or on, a, mm -hmm. on, on something that's been written or on your book, Yes. That's that's copyright, and I, from what little I know about um, about the law, mm -hmm. that's one of the ones that, in a way, I guess from a user's point of view, is in a way more, more straight, more, most straightforward. Technically, it exists yes. the moment when.